welcome to the new year. To celebrate, a team of researchers from the University of Bristol has published a step-by-step -step video of how you can make your own portable tractor beam using simple off-the-shelf components. Your own tractor beam. Get out of here. Oh yeah, yeah. Tractor beam. <clears throat> Suck me right in. Based on fundamental physics, similar to sonic levitation, this tractor beam actually pulls objects at their foci. Foci. Using a fairly simple 3D printable design, the researchers have created and demonstrated how these acoustic tractor beams are capable of holding millimeter-sized plastic particles. They even trapped a couple of fruit flies. And it looks, it just, look at, the, look at that image. That is insane. All in, they say the hardware, like an Arduino and a motor driver, will cost the ambitious DIYer about $70 on Amazon. Well, according to the researchers, these maker tractor beams could become a new tool for studying low gravity effects on biological samples. They encourage users to find their own applications for the device, which can be easily assembled to enable applications in industrial contactless manipulation or biophysics. I would make one, but I feel I am unqualified. Yeah, even just doing that scared me. <laughs> Researchers continue to look to nature to find solutions to modern engineering problems. Bio-inspired engineering, also known as biomimicry, can be flawed because natural structures don't always need to be perfect. They just need to work in order to help perpetuate the species. However, researchers at Brown University may have found perfection in the form of an orange puffball at the bottom of the ocean. The orange puffball sea sponge, not to be confused with the cheesy poppable snacks, have to be structurally strong enough to maintain their shape at the bottom of the churning ocean. The new research shows that the sponges have these tiny structural rods in their bodies that have evolved into the optimal shape to avoid buckling under pressure. The rods are about two millimeters long and are thinner than a human hair. And hundreds of them are bundled together to form stiff rib-like structures inside the orange puffball's spongy body. Using structural mechanics models, the researchers showed the peculiar shape of these spicules to be optimal for resistance to buckling. The primary reason some slender structures fail. Now, researchers say that this little puffball could provide a blueprint for increasing the buckling resistance in all kinds of structures from building columns to the bicycle spokes that collapse beneath my heavy, heavy body. But I'm trying. Even just doing that scared me. Four design concepts out of the School of Design and Human Engineering at UNIST were recently honored at the 10th annual International Spark Design Awards. Now, don't get me wrong. Multi-purpose furniture, like a thermoelectric chair that doubles as a space heater, is interesting. I'm particularly interested in just how hot that seat does get. And the Baby King. The Baby King, which won the highest honor, is a cool design. It's for a robotic baby crib that can roll your kid around your house autonomously. Kind of like that cat on a Roomba. Just hilarious little cat on a Roomba with a shark costume. Am I right? Parents can summon the Baby King with an interactive app, and they can even rock the kid to sleep using an onboard worm gear and linear actuator but I don't have kids. So while an autonomous baby throne sounds fascinating, it also makes me think that it could be hacked and some parent is going to be looking like a crazed Dana Barrett screaming through traffic downtown, my baby, my baby. But I'm more interested in the Sea Cat, which took home a Spark Silver Award. The Sea Cat, officially volume two, is a three-wheeled watercraft. Now, it isn't your typical hybrid pontoon boat and functionally, I, I, it's not really a hybrid at all. The Sea Cat is meant to run on water, but it's powered by a propeller. Because the propeller is above the water, the designer suggests that it may reduce a chance of striking a rock and tearing a hole in the boat. But I don't know. However, I would like to try. Can I try that? And you steer the thing by controlling the fin in the back. The three embedded wheels really don't come into play until the boat is coming out of the water, and it looks like they're meant to deploy like landing gear to make it easier to land your boat or tow the craft home. Now, would I rush out to buy a sea cat? Likely not. But I certainly take a chance on a rental, you know, if the design came to fruition. I mean, you might need to change the name though because like, sea cat is kind of taken, like a few times over. And I guess I don't even understand the naming, like your boat, plane, car, boat, hybrid, after an animal that fundamentally hates water anyways. But 
They love that Roomba. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design. Good to have you back. Took some weeks off and quit coffee. Mistake! Uh...